Good afternoon, Good Shepherd. It is Wednesday in Holy Week, Holy Wednesday, um, and we are right in the middle of it. Uh, looking forward to um, the rest of this week uh, as we move forward and uh, arrive that Sunday with Easter joy. But there is more in the middle, as we'll talk about here in uh, just a minute. Um, but first, um, I want to say just a few words about news that has been coming out um, with regard to COVID and relaxation of restrictions and things like that, and how that has an effect on our Good Shepherd and our worship schedule. Um, the, the county has, uh, the Tri-County Health Department has um, relaxed uh, restrictions. We are now code blue, uh, which means that there are some ways that we can uh, be back together. Um, but we need to work through some of the um, logistical issues <laughs> To, to get there. And um, so we are working on that. It probably will not happen until um, after the middle of April, um, but we are working on that. It, we will probably be outside first um, until we get all of the uh, various pieces put back into, into place to get us back inside. And we will still be uh, um, uh, limited in, in what we can do in terms of the number of, of folks that we can have. This isn't an issue that is related primarily to vaccination. Um, what vaccination is meaning is that people are willing to come back, um, but we're not going to open the church to just vaccinated people. That's not how we can do it. Uh, and there are a lot of people who um, haven't been vaccinated yet. So we will make sure that people are safe, um, as safe as we can handle it. Um, but again, we will be back um, in some sort of, of uh, corporate worship. Uh, probably outside um, in the next uh, several weeks, um, but we'll, we won't be doing this until I get back from vacation, and I'm leaving on vacation um, as soon as uh, the Easter services are over, and I will be gone for a couple of weeks, um, and so it will not happen until we come back. Uh, not that I need to control this, but I don't want to put the responsibility uh, for seeing all this, uh, making all this happen on somebody else's shoulders. Um, and I would love to be there for that first time. So I look forward to seeing you um, throughout the rest of the services this week. And then again, as we are able to move forward to be back uh, in worship together in person in some ways. So uh, again, um, I will be taking off on vacation uh, for a couple of weeks. Um, I won't be checking emails, um, but I know that uh, congregational care uh, will be um, available to you. Uh, as, as has been the case in the past, and Karen Nelson um, is your point person on that. So if there are pastoral emergencies, please contact her, and I know that uh, we will be able to take care of those in my absence. Um, as far as the rest of Holy Week goes, I think um, I've talked about this enough, enough, and you've seen a lot of emails come out um, this evening. Um, we are at Holy Wednesday this evening at 7 o'clock. Uh, we will do the uh, Stations of the Cross, as I have done them in the past, with a recorded uh, version of that with various artwork um, from around the world and around different time periods illustrating those various um, stations. Uh, so you are invited to that. That will be at 7 and will probably go until about 8.15, I think. Uh, Compline, again tonight uh, at 8.45. Uh, you're welcome to be a part of that. Tomorrow is Monday Thursday, um, and uh, the service will uh, be mixed presents. We will be eating together um, and praying together, and that will begin at 6.30. Uh, the slides for that, which will show the order of service, um, should be made available um, today or tomorrow. And you can access those by going um, to the website. Following um, the Monday Thursday, as is, our custom, we will have an altar of repose set up in the chapel. And like we did last year, we will have a live feed of that altar. And we need folks, still need folks to sign up to be there. So we have a consistent um, uh, presence at that altar. Um, and right now, um, as of about an hour ago, uh, I learned we still need one more person um, tomorrow night uh, from 11 to 12, 11 p.m. until 12 a.m. We need one person um, uh, Friday morning from 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. We don't have anyone signed up for 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. Um, we need one more from 4 to 5 a.m., one more from 5 to 6 a.m., and one more from 7 to 8 a.m. 
Um, the link to sign up for that is on the website. It has gone out in the e-news. Um, and there, I think there was a special email that went out yesterday. So please um, go in and sign up to, to pray uh, before the altar of repose um, and uh, so that we have that fully fully staffed. And again, it's online. Um, you don't have to turn on your camera. Uh, you can pray in your jammies. Um, God listens to those prayers too. Sometimes we forget that God listens to prayers wherever and whenever we are. So please do that. I'm still collecting um, banners, Alleluia banners, drawings of anything that you have done, any way you want to write Alleluia out. If you can get those, uh, a picture of those to me, um, by Friday, um, I can assemble them all and get them into a slideshow for use for our Easter services. And the last thing um, that I'd like to do today is I'd just like to close with a, with a prayer. This is the prayer um, for Monday in Holy Week. Um, but I think that as we uh, get closer to the, the big three days, that being tomorrow and Friday, Saturday, and then of course into Easter, uh, this is an appropriate prayer for us to hold into our hearts hold in our hearts um, for the rest of this week. So let us pray. Almighty God, whose most dear son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.